This is about the switch discover and uh, approve. Just now, uh, we have seen that uh, uh, what kind of uh, uh, devices uh, Sandri already have, uh, <coughs> what kind of a switch Sandri already have. And then, uh, this, is, uh, this part is about the uh, deployment. So, we uh, install uh, the Sandri uh, switch, and then we, how to uh, configure these devices, how to discover and how to approve it. So, uh, let's follow me. The first is discovery uh, AC methods, a brief introduction. So here uh, we can see uh, how many um, ways to, uh, for uh, Sandri uh, switch to discover the access controller. Uh, there are at least, uh, uh, at least uh, six kinds of uh, methods for a switch to discover the controller. Uh, for example, uh, the first is layer two broadcasting, uh, second one is TCP uh, option 43, uh, third uh, DNS, and then it's melody config, web agent, and layer two tunnel. So with uh, each method uh, from, uh, from this, uh, we can discover our, uh, uh, <laughs> discover the switch and then approve it on the controller. So uh, let's see the details of each uh, methods. So the first one is uh, uh, layer two broadcast. Uh, for uh, the layer two broadcast, it's uh, uh, applicable to uh, switch and controller in the same uh, layer two environment. <clears throat> uh, for example, uh, when you want to do the deployment of uh, uh, Want to do to, want to do the deployment, and you just connect uh, uh, all the uh, switch uh, together, and uh, you didn't uh, divide the VLAN. At this time, all the uh, switch and uh, the controller they are in the layer two environment. So when the switch connected uh, to the network, it will send a layer two broadcasting message. Uh, th this is a, a message, a broadcast message. So, so the controller and in the network uh, can get uh, this broadcast because this is the layer two environment. <clears throat> and uh, uh, the broadcast message it's uh, uh, with with the uh, layer with the MAC layer protocol of uh, uh, zero x uh, a nine nine by default. So after the controller uh, gets the uh, broadcast message, and it will uh, use the same protocol uh, to uh, unicast reply uh, to the switch that uh, uh, I get uh, this message and uh, give you a reply. And then the switch and the uh, controller will uh, both uh, to know uh, what's the IP address of uh, uh, each other, and then uh, <coughs> the devices will be uh, discovered and it's online in the controller. Uh, for the next part, it's uh, uh, DHCP option 43. Uh, just now, it's the layer 2 environment because uh, the device is connected, just the switch and the controller connected just in the layer 2 environment, so the broadcast. Uh, uh, will be sent to each other. So what about uh, uh, it's uh, in the layer three, um, in the layer three environment, because uh, the broadcast <laughs> cannot, the broadcast cannot uh, send across the, uh, uh, across the layer two, layer three environment, right? So we need to find another way uh, to uh, discover the devices. Uh, here we suggest use we suggest to use the DCP option forty three. So how it works? <clears throat> the first, uh, as we know, uh, the first the devices connect to the uh, network. You don't need to uh, get the IP address right, and uh, uh, it need to get the IP address. So uh, we need to configure the DHCP server uh, in this network, and uh, uh, in the DHCP server. 
in our controller in the DHCP server. DHCP server, we can see um, <clears throat> uh, there is an option forty three uh, fields. So uh, when you configure the DHCP server uh, in the network, uh, we can uh, fill uh, the controller IP address in this option forty three fields, and then the switch connected, it uh, will try to uh, get the IP address. Uh, he gets the, uh, the device, the switch gets the IP address from this IP port, from this DHCP IP four, and uh, it also uh, gets the value of uh, option 43 fields. And in the option 43 fields, we already uh, input the controller IP address. So uh, the next step, the switch will uh, send uh, the message, the discover message, just to this uh, IP address. This IP address is a controller. So the switch sends a uh, message, sends a discover message to the controller, and then the, the controller replied. So they discover each other, right? And this way, uh, it's already uh, crossed the layer three environment. <clears throat> Uh, here is some uh, uh, some packets here uh, to uh, show you the interaction between the switch and uh, the controller. Uh, for the uh, start, for the start part, this is the DNS uh, domain uh, resolution discover methods. <clears throat> uh, for the layer three, uh, for the layer three environment discovery. Uh, just now we told about its uh, option 43. Here uh, we can also use the uh, DNS uh, domain resolution. So uh, how this uh, how this works? Um, just now uh, we use uh, option 43. It's uh, uh, it uh, it uh, it's that uh, uh, we um, configure the DHCP server and then we input uh, uh, the controller. Uh, IP address in the option 43 field. And uh, uh, for this one, <clears throat> uh, because in the network, uh, there is a, a DNS server, right? So um, at this time, uh, we input the domain. We input the domain uh, in the DNS. Uh, so uh, we bind we bind the domain and uh, the uh, controller IP address uh, and configure it in the DNS. So uh, when <clears throat> so uh, when the switch is connected to the network, he will uh, send uh, the message to uh, query uh, to the DNS server and to query uh, the domain. And after the DNS server uh, resolute. Uh, uh, this domain to the controller IP address, and then uh, the uh, and then the switch will uh, send the discover message to the controller uh, directly. So uh, this is for the DNS. Uh, here uh, the packets we can see uh, from the source uh, one hundred uh, point one hundred uh, point one point one point three. So uh, when it connected, it sends. Uh, the DNS uh, query, standard query uh, 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 to the DNS server uh, to request to, uh, uh, this is a request uh, to resolve uh, uh, 3w.com, uh, right? And after uh, the DNS server uh, resolve it, because here we already uh, con we already config. We already config the host uh, in the controller. We bind the uh, we bind the domain with the controller IP address, right? So uh, in this type, uh, <clears throat> after the DNS server resolve uh, this domain, uh, it's an IP address of the controller IP address. So uh, the DNS server will uh, reply the message. Will give a a uh, query response uh, to the switch that uh, this domain, uh, the IP address, it's uh, uh, the controller IP address, and then 
the switch just uh, access to the uh, controller IP address. So uh, switch and the controller will discover uh, each other by this way. Uh, for for this way, the first we need to uh, go to the system and uh, the general the host to configure the host file. <clears throat> Just to new, uh, for example, the controller IP address uh, is this, and the host name uh, it is. Just combined first. And uh, for the uh, for the next uh, methods, this is uh, the. Um, Manually, uh, uh, this one we use the device uh, diagonal tools to manually uh, specify the controller IP address. Okay, uh, we continue. Uh, for uh, for the uh, troubleshoot, manually uh, specify controller IP address. Uh, this one we need to. Uh, use a tool, uh, then the tool name is uh, the device uh, diag uh, diagnostics. So uh, first we uh, install these tools, and then uh, we connect uh, uh, we connect the cable uh, from uh, uh, our from our uh, computer uh, to the switch, and then we just scan uh, scan the weld uh, adapter. Scan the weld adapter from the computer, uh, and after we scan all the uh, all the connected switch and the access point will be uh, will be show uh, in the list, and then we uh, config uh, uh, we config the devices by uh, manually input uh, the controller IP address. Uh, actually, this is the interface since. Uh, uh, since for for this case I didn't find uh, uh, I didn't find the uh, picture with uh, with English, so I will try to explain to you. Uh, the first is uh, we scan. Uh, we use a tool to uh, scan, and then it's uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, after the devices. Showed in the list, and one uh, we click uh, the start config to config the uh, settings of the switch and or the access point. Uh, in the config interface, uh, we can change the uh, IP address, and also uh, we can change uh, we can uh, specify the controller IP address to manually config the uh, controller uh, IP address. For example, here. Uh, manually configure the controller IP address. It's uh, uh, 192, 200, and uh, 246, and 81. So after we configure, uh, after we configure the controller IP address here, and choose uh, safe, and then the uh, the switch will try to uh, send the discover message to this uh, IP address. Because uh, the con this controller, uh, this is the controller IP address, and then the controller and switch they discover each other. Uh, here is uh, the um, packets we uh, capture about the uh, troubleshoot, <coughs> about uh, uh, the interaction uh, between the switch and the controller with uh, this type. Okay. Uh, this is um, uh, for the manual, uh, manually uh, specified controller IP. And the next is about uh, web, uh, web agent discovery. Uh, for, uh, for the applicable sense, uh, this is uh, for the remote uh, deploying environment. Uh, for example, the headquarters uh, exist uh, is uh, uh, dialed by PPOE since the IP address may change uh, the switch uh, should be uh, used to uh, tell the uh, switch that uh, the current IP address of the headquarters and uh, then the switch will uh, try to connect to the uh, headquarters. Because the uh, headquarters uh, IP address always uh, always change but the web agent server the IP address uh, it's uh, uh, not change. So uh, the 
switch, uh, just need to uh, access to the web agent server and to uh, query uh, what's the IP address of the headquarter. Uh, let's say let's say uh, mm, the process of a web agent discovery. Um, <clears throat> the first, uh, the controller. Uh, this controller it's uh, employed uh, deployment uh, in the uh, headquarter, and the access point. This is uh, in the branch, and then uh, we can ask for the Sentry technical support to give you uh, an web agent link, because. Uh, uh, they need to apply. Uh, after and then you can uh, input this link in the uh, both in the uh, controller and in the access point. So um, <clears throat> after you input this link in the controller, and uh, uh, the controller will uh, access to the uh, web agent server and. Uh, <clears throat> NAC access to the web agent server, and then uh, the web agent uh, web agent server will uh, record record the web agent domain and the source uh, IP address. The source IP address this is the uh, uh, controller public IP web right? uh, the right part the right part, and then uh, <coughs> in the uh, access point uh, in the access point or in the switch, uh, it's the same ways. In the switch, we also uh, input the web agent uh, link uh, in the switch, and uh, the uh, switch will query uh, query uh, the web agent server. Uh, what's uh, the domain? What's the domain IP address? The uh, the yellow part. The yellow part is the web agent domain. So he query uh, the web agent server, and uh, actually uh, in the web agent server, they already uh, have a list. Uh, uh, this list already records the web agent domain and the uh, NIC public IP. So he will uh, return return the uh, NIC public IP, return the uh, right part to the switch, <clears throat> and then uh, the, in the last the switch access to the controller by the public IP, by the right part. So he will send the discover message directly uh, to the <coughs> uh, access controller. And the controller will uh, discover uh, the access point. Uh, even though uh, for the uh, controller public IP, the right part always change. But uh, because uh, it connected to the internet, so uh, the information will be always uh, synchronized in the web agent server. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's some like uh, do you know about the DDNS? It seems uh, seems like the DDNS in the web agent server. It records uh, records the uh, domain and the uh, controller public IP. <clears throat> so after you input uh, the do uh, the domain, the web agent domain in the uh, switch. He will try to uh, access to the web agent server. The first, uh, uh, and then, and uh, you need to uh, make sure uh, the switch can access to the internet first. Uh, so this is the configuration. Uh, in the WLAN controller, the system uh, general, uh, the web agent, uh, first enable the web agent, and then we uh, input the uh, web agent link, web agent domain link. And this link, you need to uh, 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 ask for uh, your uh, local central technical. Uh, for example, in Indonesia, you can ask me uh, to uh, apply this link. <clears throat> and then you input it here in the controller. And the next step, uh, you input uh, the link in the switch. Uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> when you activate the switch, uh, just uh, uh, choose to enable the web agent. And then uh, it will be discovered, remote discovered. Uh, by the web agent. For the next, it's uh, <clears throat> layer two tunnel discover. Uh, what is the layer two tunnel discover? Uh, as, as we know, um, uh, between 
our uh, between our controller and the switch. Uh, if uh, it's already uh, if the switch already be uh, activated, and uh, we will uh, establish a, a tunnel, a layer two tunnel between the switch and the controller, right? Uh, what if uh, uh, the switch they connect? Uh, uh, what if, what if the inactivated switch they connect to the uh, activated switch? <clears throat> so uh, the activated switch uh, at this time they can be a relay, they can be a relay server. So the inactivated uh, switch they connect uh, to the uh, activated switch, and the activated switch. Uh, we will send uh, the top notch around. I'll send the top notch around and to the uh, W uh, to the access controller uh, to tell the controller that uh, uh, in around uh, on my site, uh, which device is now connected and uh, not be uh, activated. So I send his uh, IP address uh, to the controller. And then the controller uh, can discover it. So this is uh, by the uh, layer two tunnel discovery. Uh, actually, uh, here it's uh, the more uh, details uh, about uh, the layer two uh, tunnel discovery. Uh, all in the all in one words, it's that uh, um, the activity switch or the uh, controller, they can uh, send the top notch around. <clears throat> they can send the top notch around and to the controller for discover. Or uh, it can be as a relay server. Actually, uh, for the uh, for the uh, switch, uh, now uh, we in the controller we already connect. Uh, uh, we already activate activated uh, to switch right. So uh, if you uh, connect uh, another uh, switch to uh, this switch if you connect it and uh, then you don't need to config uh, this activated switch will uh, send uh, uh, the inactivated switch the information to the controller directly because uh, he uh, will send the top logic around around uh, this switch to the controller and then the controller can uh, discover the switch inactivated. So it, it's just like this. <clears throat> uh, I think explaining like this will be more uh, easier to understand. <clears throat> uh, for the switch uh, approve, for the switch approve, uh, <clears throat> uh, for example, uh, the top launch now, uh, NAC and the RS switch, the controller uh, connected to the uh, switch. <clears throat> and then uh, it already uh, discover each other, right? So uh, if you want to uh, config the uh, management VLAN, uh, you can config first. <clears throat> and to create the, for example, you, know, you want to use the VLAN uh, 10 as a management VLAN, and you need to uh, uh, you need to config the uh, VLAN uh, 10 first, right? And uh, to create VLAN if to enable the DHCP server. Uh, before, uh, if you want to use the DHCP option 43, you can uh, input the option 43 uh, at this time also. And then uh, in the either in the end, uh, Ethernet management, uh, the VLAN settings, you can set the VLAN and uh, to discover to discover it, uh, you use the uh, uh, native VLAN 10 and to assign uh, some uh, switch ports. Also, uh, in the port panel, uh, you can choose uh, the ports uh, belongs to which VLAN. Just now it's uh, the VLAN 10, right? And then you can choose the VLAN, you can choose uh, the VLAN 10. After save the settings, the switch will be online in the controller, and the management VLAN of the switch will change to the VLAN 10. And for the uh, related ports, uh, <clears throat> actually these ports, it's uh, uh, the uh, sundry uh, switch, a set point, and the controller are uh, used 
for uh, discover and uh, for the approve, also for the data tunnel. Uh, for example, the uh, first the first uh, UDP seven 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 seven. Uh, this this port we usually uh, used for the AP discover, uh, AP discovery port. So uh, when uh, when you try to uh, discover the uh, controller, uh, the access point or the switch, they will send uh, the packets with the uh, UDP uh, port uh, seven 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 uh, to the access point. <clears throat> uh, and then uh, after uh, after discover uh, after the switch is dis be discovered, uh, they will uh, establish the control tunnel. So uh, with the control tunnel, this is a TCP. Uh, this is a TCP connection. Uh, so uh, the port is TCP seven zero seven zero. And uh, for the data tunnel, uh, because the uh, switch. Now when the when the uh, when the user they connect uh, to the switch and uh, they want to uh, their and the user their user data uh, uh, will be encryption and then uh, sent by the uh, data tunnel the, and the uh, the data tunnel uh, port the seven zero seven seven so uh, for the AP download upgrade uh, because when you uh, connect to the AP or connect to the switch and try to get the latest uh, uh, version from uh, uh, get the latest version firmware from the access controller. So it needs to um, <coughs> download this uh, uh, image. Uh, so they use the TCP uh, 800. Uh, also the TCP uh, 443. This is for the HTTPS the web interface, right? So, uh, if you want to discover all the uh, discover and uh, approve uh, and to build the data tunnel or the control tunnel, you need to make sure these ports are all uh, open. So, uh, for the uh, remote deployment, usually uh, some ports are disabled. Uh, so, uh, it's uh, really uh, necessary to confirm with the SP. Uh, whether this ports is already uh, uh, be uh, <clears throat> be is open or not, because uh, if the SP uh, already uh, closed this ports, it will be uh, not possible to discover it. <clears throat> uh, and also, uh, if this port is open, we can uh, make the port forwarding. Uh, just forward these ports to the uh, public network for remote deployment. Uh, here is the precautions. Uh, the discovered controller IP that is filled in, uh, filled in when editing a single switch is used by the switch to find the uh, controller. <clears throat> this is to uh, uh, this is to tell uh, to tell you that. Uh, uh, when you um, <clears throat> when you edit uh, the switch, uh, because uh, for the controller for the controller IP for discovery, uh, this is for the for discovery, and uh, also uh, it has the controller for uh, uh, for management. So uh, it's different. Because uh, first you can discover it, and then and then <clears throat> you can uh, and then it can uh, approve it by the different uh, IP address. So uh, here we give some uh, suggestion. Uh, the switch first establish. Uh, the switch uh, first establishes a t uh, establishes a TCP connection with a controller. According to the IP address of the discovered controller, after uh, the TCP connection is established, and then the switch will read the IP address of the active and standby controller in the uh, corresponding group to establish the uh, control tunnel uh, with the uh, make control uh, make control IP first. Uh, 
and uh, after uh, the and the controller the control kernel is not established successfully and then establish a kernel with the standby controller controller IP address. So uh, if possible, uh, it's suggested to uh, input the primary controller IP address and the secondary controller IP address to prevent that uh, uh, if some uh, if uh, the primary controller is not uh, uh, is not work and uh, cannot be discovered. So <clears throat> for the for this part, uh, for the discover and approve part, uh, it's already finished. Actually, uh, in this part, we already uh, we already introduced uh, six uh, introduced uh, six methods for the switch to discover the uh, controller. Uh, actually, for the uh, Asandra solution, uh, the discover methods. Uh, for the switch and the, for the access point, uh, it's the uh, same settings. It's the same. So uh, asking for the uh, asking now uh, if you uh, have already understand uh, the discovery uh, methods for the switch and you already know uh, <clears throat> how to uh, discover our access point too. Uh, 